Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am making fermented hot sauce. To start, we need to ferment some of our lovely homegrown vegetables. I am using 500 grams of these lovely mixed chilies. We've got the sugar rush peach we've grown together this year, the cayenne chili pepper, the black Hungarian, also we've got some, that's black Hungarian as well, we've got some chocolate habanero and Christian yellow. So yeah, this is going to be very, very spicy. Also I'm using some purple carrot, more pinky, shallots, pink Himalayan salt, water and some homegrown garlic. So if you're interested how I make the hot sauce, you are welcome to my kitchen. So I'm going to start, I'm going to mix the salt and the water together real well. This is the little vessel, the fermenting jar I'm gonna use today. If you haven't got one, you can do, use two quart mason jar or two one quart mason jar. But I'm going to use this little vessel. So, with a good stir, I'm just keep stirring it until it's nice and dissolves. In the meantime, I'm going to leave the chili last. I've got the gloves ready. I'm just going to, I've got the husband here in front of me and the knife. I am not going to peel the carrot, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to top and tail it and I washed it real well, but I leave it unpeeled and I'm going to slice it really thin slices. So, with the shallots the same, I'm going to peel the shallots. Oh, look at this, it's really orange inside. And I'm just going to slice the garlic, the shallots as well. And I'm going to leave it aside for a bit. And then we're going to deal with the chilies. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them in half. It's all nicely washed. And I'm just going to take the seeds out. Because this is going to be hot as it is. If you want a real hot sauce, you can leave it in, friends. Oh, this one is got a little other color as well. I've never made the hot sauce before. This is the first time. So we're going to wait, wait about up to two weeks, seven to ten days or up to two weeks. It's going to ferment in here, just behind us on the floor. And then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients and we're going to blitz it and have a taste test. I'll maybe ask Alan to have a taste test first. Oh, I don't know. It's well, so pretty, these carrots. Wow. Okay. And I'm just going to cut. I just slice the garlic and we're just going to layer it in that fermented crock pot. Okay, we are ready to fill the crock pot. I have used think about five different varieties of chilies. I've got the black Hungarian, cayenne, chocolate habanero, Christian yellow, black Hungarian, think five different varieties of chilies. I've de-seeded them, so, and they are 338 grams as it is. And I've also, have got, I've written down, 123 grams of carrots and 70 grams of shallots 
and 34 grams of garlic. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to layer in the ingredients. I should have really put the gloves back, but never mind. So I've put chili, carrot, bit of shallots, garlic, and the rest of the chili. Carrots and just so on until I finish all off. I think it's gonna nearly fill this little crock pot. Perfect. Mm, carrots, garlic, rest of the chili. All done. Okay. Next, we're just going to pour the salt water over with a good stir and just pour this over. All our vegetables need to be submerged. So if we need more, I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna make more. I'm gonna make another five cups of water and six teaspoons of salt. Okay, now I've just put these weights down. I think it's now good, submerged. Perfect, don't need any more water. Because you really want this to be under water, brine, otherwise it will go moldy. Perfect, that's it. All done. I'm just going to put a bit of water in this rim here. And that can go on a floor for about 10 days. Okay, it is now a couple of weeks later and the hot sauce, the fermented hot sauce, it is, I think it's ready. So I'm going to strain this down. Look how lovely pink the water looks. Okay, I'm going to keep this brine, half a litre the brine is, so it's two cups. Well, let's see if I'm going to be brave enough to try it, but the plan is now I'm going to blend the ingredients. So what we've used in here, all different mixed chilies with some carrots, shallots, garlic, and salt and water and now when we blend it we can adjust the taste if I'm brave enough to try it so I'm thinking of adding a little bit of apple cider vinegar and I've got some elderflower apple cider vinegar maybe that would give a nice taste yeah Try some of this vinegar first. Try a little bit. Hmm, that is lovely. I'm definitely trying this. Adding this to it. Right, let's get this all blend together. I'm going to add a little bit of this brine. A little bit of this apple cider vinegar. And let's blend. Okay, and I think I might going to use the immersion blender. I think I'm going to use the immersion blender because this one is 
just chopping it finely and I would love to have like quite a smooth mixture. I think I'm just going to maybe blend it a bit more here. These are the rest. Oh, it is spicy. In the immersion blender, add the rest of the so I've got two cups, half a liter of the brine of the fermented hot sauce brine, and to that, I'm going to add half a cup of apple cider vinegar. And I'm gonna have a taste test, I'm gonna be brave enough, I'm gonna go for it. I have decided to put this through a mesh strainer so we've got a nice and smooth sauce but we can use the pulp as well it looks an amazing color orange and I'm gonna fill this bottle with a homegrown homemade fermented hot sauce look how beautiful that is in an ice cube tray and freeze it so we can add these two curries possibly let's do one more and give a test taste test Make sure I label it as fermented hot sauce. And I will put this to the fridge. So our first bottle, probably I'll make two bottles for us. So I'll get another bottle, same than this, and we fill it up and this is our fermented hot sauce. Right, let me grab a, a spoon and have a taste test. Wow, that is spicy. That is spicy. It is sweet and then the kick. Woo! <laughs> wow. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me, fermenting this lovely homegrown five different varieties of chilies and making this lovely fermented hot sauce and see you very soon. Bye friends! <laughs>